Hey, what's going on guys? Like Butter here. Today, I am going to be bringing you an Escape from Tarkov video. Now, I need to make a video on this game because it's unbelievable how good slash difficult this game really is. So this game is in uh, a beta version, as you can see, it tells you right here. Um, it's early beta. Uh, I'm not sure when they're planning to fully release the game. This is a PC only game and uh, it is like a MMO slash RPG style looter shooter slash survival game. It's really hard to explain what type of game this is, but we can go here and just kind of uh, give you guys an idea of what's going on. So you can go to your character here, you have like skills and uh, you have tasks which will give you like certain quests uh, where you can, you know, get quest items and then go and, and find them in the open world, uh, you know, for example. And then when you loot items in game, everything is important because you can take the items and you can extract them and put them in your inventory. Now, I used to have a bunch of guns here. Uh, I suck at this game really bad and I'm usually a pretty quick learner. Um, I can usually learn things pretty fast and uh, yeah. I'm basically just getting destroyed every single match, so I thought I'd do a video here on it, kind of just show you guys what's up with this game and uh, if you think it's worth giving a try. So I've done 11 raids, which are like 11 like missions. I've survived once and died 10 times, mostly to other players who are really well geared and know the game already. Uh, this game is brutal, man. I've also died to some NPCs. Um, I don't know. We're just going to jump right into it, and I'm going to show you guys kind of what this game's all about. Now, every half an hour, you get to do these scav missions, which is basically a free run at loot. Um, it, it spawns you in with random gear. Uh, it looks like it's going to spawn me with an AK. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but... It's basically a run with random gear where it will give you, it will start you with stuff and whatever you get out is basically what you keep, you get to keep it and then when you play as your main character, um, you actually are taking in real stuff from your inventory that you have a chance at losing. So I'm going to pick woods here simply just because it's the only, uh, it's the only map that I semi decently know. Now this isn't only PvP, this is PvE as well, so um, you will come across other NPCs in the open world, you'll know because they have like these sound cues where they're like yelling at you and stuff, and you can loot off of those NPCs, it kind of rem reminds me of the uh, old DayZ mods like Epoch and I think Breaking Point where there was random NPCs at certain missions that you could run and get loot from. It's kind of like that. So killing NPCs is really important. It's it's not really like how it is in the division where you're kind of just mowing them down to kind of get them out of the way. Uh, even though you can get loot off them, it's not really like super serious. But in this game, every NPC that you kill is incredibly important because you have a chance at getting some very good stuff. Especially if you're like me and you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of loot. Uh, this is a good way to get some stuff, but be careful because when you're killing NPCs, you're attracting players and players are going to come in and they're going to fuck you up because there's a lot of people on this game that know exactly what they're doing and they're veterans and they've been around for a long time and I'm, I will be shocked if we survive this. Okay, so I'm spawned in here. Now, there are some frame issues with the game, uh, which obviously that's the fact that it's in early beta is probably one of those reasons so we're kind of just gonna if you see any small stuttering that's entirely uh normal all right we're going across here now i think i know where i am kind of because i've played this a good amount of time but we're gonna move over here and sound is everything you can hear like everything. Let's go in here and see if there's anything to loot. Okay, so we got cigarettes here. We got a can of cola. Oh my god. I'm already hearing gunfire. More cigarettes here on the ground. You can, eat, you can take these and you can sell them to vendors for money. I'm hearing like a crackling noise right now. Not sure what that is. I 
I think it's supposed to be rain. Maybe it's glitched. It sounds like it's just raining in my headset. I, I, I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I'm not sure what the hell that means. But this game reminds me of uh, like first person Daisy, but 10 times more tactical. We heard gunfire over here. We need to be careful. The footsteps are incredibly loud. Move up here, see if there's anything that we can see. I see a tank. Might be some somebody looting over there. <gasps> oh my god. It's close. Oh, it is raining. Okay, I just couldn't see that it was raining. I see what the sound is now. It's very light rain. If you look at one of the trees, you'll see that the rain's actually falling. Okay. So you gotta be careful. People uh, play really tactical in this game, man. Like, since you're fighting for your loot, you'll see people, like, sitting in trees and stuff and, like, bushes. You gotta be really careful. You gotta listen really closely. The building over there to the right. Now you gotta be careful because what people do in these scav missions is they'll go and they'll, they know where most of the NPCs are. Oh, there's a guy right there. I think that's an NPC. Got him. There's someone else shooting over there. I'm going to run and loot this guy. He's kind of in the open, though. A shotgun on him, a vest. What is this? I don't know. Let me search this. This is so risky. I'm gonna die. We got nothing. So you have to actually like search their gear. It's interesting. All right, some bullets, some bullets for the gun that he has. I think. <clears throat> Let's grab that. I don't want to take too long looting. I just want to double check to make sure I didn't miss anything. Can I take that? So I think what I can do... This has got more slots. Let me move my stuff in here. And see if I can just, like, discard. Okay. Alright, this has more slots, so this is good. So it's kind of like, um, I don't know if you guys... <clears throat> who are watching this video watch my other videos on like the division, but it's got a similar concept when it comes to these missions like you go in you get loot and uh, The only way to keep your loot is to extract you go to these extraction points on the map And that's how you'll keep your stuff I heard somebody clearing, uh, probably NPCs over here. Right, so we're finding some good loot here, from what it seems. 
So you can go in here and you can examine these and it'll show you exactly what it is. So if you've never seen, I believe if, if you've never seen the item before, um, you kind of have to like learn it, I guess, if that makes sense. So it's got some like slight MMO aspects to it. But they don't really, they don't really categorize this game as, an, these look like attachments. So this that I have is the AK-74, I believe. 74U. Or no, it's not. Wow, I thought I was using an AK. I'm using a PSOGZ. Uh, wait, this is a Saiga? What? I thought I had an AK. Oh my god, people are probably raging at me. I'm so sorry, guys. Because I know a lot of people who play Escape from Tarkov are like super hardcore like military guys and they know everything about guns. You guys are probably freaking out on me right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't really know much about like real weapons and stuff. So this is a Saiga. I shot that guy with a Saiga? Alright, well, we know that we need to get a little bit closer now. This other weapon that this NPC had uh, is a is definitely a shotgun. It's actually got like it's actually got like a light on it. I think. How do you put the light on? Is it L? No. F. No. Okay. Well. All right. Keep moving over here towards where I heard the gunfire. The only problem is this guy is probably incredibly looted and I, I found out yesterday that the the way that they kind of have the game set up is uh, if, if you have a lot of armor and a lot of loot you end up taking an excessive amount of bullets so they kind of favor the person with more gear since that person has more to lose so it's kind of like a high risk high reward type of thing. Oh let's go let's go let's go. I really want to get in on this. There's a gunfight going on right in front of me. That is that a dead body there? I'm gonna move up here to the right, see these little hills. What a lot of people will do is they'll run and they'll lay down and loot. <clears throat> I'm gonna lay right under this because I know that he's he's close. It's gotta be. I'm probably playing like such a noob right now. I'm so sorry, guys. This is my second day on the game. Now, I notice a lot of gunfights go down in this area here. <clears throat> this is where a lot of people like to fight. Oh. That's a player. That's a player, 100%. Right, I'm going to get right up on this guy. I think that was the player. <gasps> this 
got so much loot on him. Let me take his bag. Oh my god, he's got loot, dude. Painkillers. What's he got in here? Oh my god, I'm taking so long to loot. And I'm in the open. Uh, let's see what this is. GM uh, GM count. Dude, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Well, I'm going to drop this. Discard that. Uh, let's move this up here. More painkillers. Alright, we're just going to grab what we can. So I think this was a NPC, I'm not sure. Vepper, I kind of want that. I think I'm going to drop this. Nope, fuck that. I want to keep looting that guy, but I can't. I literally cannot. My my blood is pumping right now, dude. Oh, here's a dead guy right here. There's two dead guys. Two dead NPCs. <gasps> I'm so scared. Alright, I'm full of loot. I'm out of here. Fuck this. I'm out. I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Alright, I could easily stay around here and keep messing with that dude, but that guy's like laying out every- <gasps> What? That's behind me. I'm, I'm gone. Sorry, dude. I'd love to fight you and all, but I got loots for days. I wasn't sure if I should take that other weapon off that guy, but... I'm so greedy. I need to get out. I've only extracted ever one, like, one other time, so I think it's time for me to go. Oh my god. 
god, dude. I, I just get me out of here, please. I'm hearing NPCs. I'm hearing players, I think. Just get me out of this area. I, I think I know where I am. I think I know where I am. I think I need to get to the wall and run left. Unless the the extractions change, then I'm I might cry. Where's my health? I'm at 419 out of th I think I have enough health to extract. I think I should be all right here. Boy, I I haven't played a game that gets your blood boiling in a like this in a very long time since like Daisy Mod days. Alright, I think I gotta go here, get to the wall, and go all the way down the wall. Oh shit, I'm not where I think I am, I don't think. Maybe I am. Oh no, dude. Is that a dead guy? It is. It doesn't look like he has anything on him. No, oh, he's been clean. He's been looted bone dry. Find extraction point. East gate and mountain stash. Okay, so we have 16 minutes. Uh oh, I don't know where the east gate is. Or mountain stash. I'm gonna, the only extraction that I've ever seen on this map, I'm gonna try to find. Oh no, dude, I don't think I'm in the right spot. I remember I ran across a, uh, a wall. But I'm not sure if, like, the extractions are random or what. But I'm going to just keep going this direction and see if we see anything. Alright, I might want to take something for my uh, painkillers. I'm not sure what that even does. This guy had $50 on him. Yeah, the... Extractions m must. Ch oh! Let me get up on this dude. Not sure if it's a player or an NPC. It looks like an NPC. But I gotta remember that killing this NPC is gonna attract probably real players. But the NPCs are like kind of crazy. They act like players, sort of. It's quite interesting, actually. He had like a really, really garbage pistol. Thought I heard something. When you search something, it makes a noise and it spooks me out. Wow, he actually didn't have shit. Has wasted all my Saiga ammo. Oh no, dude, I need to get out of here. 
All I have left now is this shotgun. Now, I'm not sure which things give you health, but let me just... Was this going to heal me? I only am missing 12 HP. Oh, maybe that's just if you're, like, bleeding or something. I think I just wasted that. Alright, let's go over this direction here. Because this is where I spawned, I think, near the... I think the silos are where that one extraction is. I think I got confused and went too far left. Yeah, this is actually looking familiar, I think. I think this is familiar. Yeah, I think this is the extraction. <gasps> I think this is it. Dude, this is the extraction. Oh my god, I'm gonna get out. Oh my god, that was intense. How did we do that? <laughs> I'm so excited. Alright, well. So now we get to keep our loot. So those are what those scav missions are for. They're literally for scavenging. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Uh, this is a 30 round mag for the AK-74. So the weapon we thought we had, which we don't at all. Oh, the Vepper. That's the gun he had. I should have took that, huh? Damn it. All right. Well, we got some stuff like some attachments and that kind of thing. So RK3. We got some uh, ammo there. We got GK2. We got some bolts. We got this. We got a Snickers or a Slickers, I should say. We got some pain pills. Let's put those there. We got some money. We got one of these. So I'm going to put this out over there. And put that up there. That up there. Push that over one. And we'll put that. Alright. Oh my god. My inventory is a mess. People are going to be very angry at me. I don't know what this is. GM mount. Or GM count. Examine. Let's find out what this is. PK06. That's a, a site, it looks like. So we'll put our sites down here. We'll put our food over on this side. We'll keep our mags together. Keep our grenades up there. Put our attachments on the right side. So we'll just keep that open there for more stuff. All right. Well... We do have this uh, here. I'm going to bring this down here. So we got some bandages out of that. We got a bunch of ammo that we don't need. We don't need all this ammo here. So that's kind of good. These mags up here. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to do some inventory management here. Uh, but we got a backpack out of it. We got some ammo. Like, I call that worth. We have a vest. Now, what we can do now, if if we wanted to, right? Just to give you guys an idea of, like, if you haven't played this game. See, now that we've... Wait, you still have untransferred items. Are you sure you want to end the transfer? You will not be able to return. Oh. Okay, so you want to like... So this is your scav character. You want to literally put everything... Okay, I see how it is now. So you want to put all your stuff over. Entirely. Okay, I see how that works now. Because you got to remember, this is this is your scav character. This is a, one of your scav guys. So you're not going to keep anything here. 
We'll bring the eyewear over too. All right, next. Okay, so that's, you know, one of the scav missions. You can do them once every half an hour. So now if I go back here, it'll say 26 minutes. Now, so what, what you do now is you go to your main character and then you can take the stuff that you got from your scav missions or when you do actual matches and uh, you know, you pick a something here, factory, blah, 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 you know, here. And then, you know, you go in there and good fucking luck, dude, you're gonna get fucked. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop the video a like. I know it was a long one, but hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Take care, everybody.